Say some stuff. Uh, take one. <laughs> you might have seen the tweet from a UPenn professor. It's a tough, tough look for a Penn student, <laughs> yeah. for sure. Brought up the questions like, okay, how much does it cost to go to the school if everyone here is filthy rich? We're going to compare costs of the MBA program. The four-year undergrad program. We're going to play a little game, see what costs more. Sophie, my neighbor has agreed to be super transparent with everyone. Tell um, a little more about yourself. So I was a four-year undergraduate student at Penn. I went through their nursing program and and got to be uh, post-grad still in Philly at uh, the Children's Hospital here and uh, wound up being neighbors, so. The rules of the game are basically something I agreed to the same categories of expenses. You saw exactly how much we spent. I'm gonna guess who spent more. I didn't think about this, but should we have a prize? Oh, definitely a prize. <laughs> <laughs> loser buys a drink. Loser buys like a good drink, like a good? Yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, leave a comment down below with who you think spent more, the undergrad or the grad. First category is just applying to school. So before you even get into UPenn, how much does it cost? This is like all schools that we applied to throughout our journey. I guess, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. All right, so what did you do? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's I think might be one of the biggest differences. For MBA stuff, I guess it could be that cheap, but then you have like the GRE or GMAT, which I took four um, times so each of those is like 250 we go to different conferences so i like visited um, like four or five schools okay. and we do coaches and consultants that like help review your essays okay so i have those there's even some consultants that charge like 20k just to help you like write the application oh my to get into these mba programs all right so next category is housing all right oh. okay, that makes sense. yeah <laughs> next tuition all right okay <laughs> You're nervous. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one. Oh. All right, yeah. So I'm doing two degrees. The MBA is technically 160,000. Okay. And then the other one's another 40. That's what I was ballparking. Right. I look at this and I'm like, hmm, could have bought a small house. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so next category food, which includes groceries, dinners, meal plan, whatever. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I think I might have not counted some things. Well, this but, is also over only 20 months. This that's is like true. Four well, years. That's, that's true. That's yeah. true. Yeah. So this is so like it's, it's like 10,000. Yeah. It's comparable. Yeah. Like transportation. transportation. And this is meaning like to and from school. Or like what? general cost that you needed to be like a student. Yeah. Okay. I did down. No, I put down. Yeah, because you thought you oh, said less. Right. Did you think you said less? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. How did you spend no like? Because I thought you spent less, no money, but. <laughs> Okay, but then when you're on campus, I guess you just live then on campus. Yeah, we, I never took public transportation like ever undergrad. My thousand includes the scooter I bought. Oh my god! Because most MBAs live off campus. Mm -hmm. Wait, so I've taken the lead. So the next is is clubs. clubs. I like the party clubs. It's more about like the organizations that you mm -hmm. join, like sororities. Like I'm including the hockey team that I joined. Ready? Oh. oh. So, I thought I spent less than you. When I hear hockey gear, I just yeah. think money. And this is mostly sorority dues. Okay, next up, parties events. This is actually like the clubs. Yes. Uh, like going out. Okay, we're both right. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. We did events, like a lot of the times would be only like 20s. Versus like MBAs where it's like, oh, it's my birthday, pay $70. <laughs> pay $70, come to BYO. <laughs> yeah. But, In the basement of Italian yeah, restaurant. <laughs> The last category, school trips and vacations. Just within undergrad, not like summer. I guess if, it, if there was a trip that was like- School related. School related, like when your sorority sisters yeah. or whatever, okay. like that, I think that counts. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At least over half of this is Miami spring break. <laughs> Let's go. The travel for MBA is definitely, that's like a common thing. I feel like you guys have gone yeah. so many places. In those, in those conferences I was telling you about, like a very common thing you would hear was like the difference between like a good MBA and a bad MBA is $20,000. Um, because like what it, that's what it costs to like go on all the trips. Okay. Pretty much. Wow. And like now that I'm doing the math, I'm like, dang, that's actually like how much I'm yeah, going to spend. Wow. We're tied basically. Yeah, we're still tied. So we showed each other our numbers, so we should be able to find, answer the final question technically, Oof, which yeah. is how much was the total cost? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. But I don't remember all your numbers. Yeah, neither so. do I. Um... Wait, what? Uh, what? <laughs> I thought it out of the How did you spend it? Well, I had 96,000 more in tuition. 
Oh, that's almost I yeah, that's another just, hundred. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, yeah, like I don't really know. I was like your tuition was more, but my trips. You're the MBA yeah, numbers guy. Yeah. Okay. I got that, that right. No, we both got it right. No, I thought I spent less than you. Oh, and you thought you spent more I than thought, me. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> it wouldn't have been fair to compare this last thing I'm, I'm gonna add to myself. For MBAs, you also talk about like the opportunity cost of going to school. Mm. For most MBAs, it's like, we've already been making money. Yeah. And then we're leaving the job to come to school. So right. it's, the cost is not only what we're paying to go to school, mm. like the tuition and everything we just covered, but also how much are we not making from work? Because like if, if I stayed right. working, right, how much would I make? Adding what I would have made at my job Oh, and making that after sort of tax, like spending. Yeah, after tax and all that stuff, my total comes out to a little higher than yours. Wow, yeah. So, but that, see, so that's a cheeky one because it's like you could have had opportunity cost too if you yeah. decided not to go to Ben and just decided to go straight to work for yes. those four years. Or to go to school that right. I got a scholarship at. Exactly, like yeah. So oh, I really thought you were more than yeah. me. That's embarrassing. <laughs> well, we both like we're, <laughs> So is it worth it? I guess you kind of don't know exactly if it's worth it now because you just graduated. I'm yeah. technically still in the MBA, right? So exactly, like short term, it seems like it was so worth it, right. but like, I feel like it's very nearsighted right now. Yeah, someone can say like, oh, short term, it was not worth it because I lost so much money from my job. Yeah. But in the long term, it can be great, right? So right now I feel like it's worth it, especially since we got to yeah. meet through it. So yeah, exactly. That's a big connect. It's a lot of money, but if you do it right, I think you can get a lot out of it. Right, so that's a video in the future. You have to subscribe to see it. So really appreciate you guys to subscribe. See you, Sophie is a featured friend again. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>